how do you get in touch with nature in a city? It's by having this relationship with the sky. Twelve Luxury Flats is located in the middle of the city. Um, it's basically in San Juan, which geographically you can find in the center of Metro Manila. You know, we chose this particular location because if you look around you, you'll have this very organic streetscape. You can walk to a market, there's probably at least 20 or 30 dining choices around you. And of course, it's quite near my office. That's important for me. One of the biggest challenges when you're building a home is this idea that you have to combine so many desires and you have to kind of like be careful that you're able to put in, you know, the different things that you want into this house. I wanted to have this affinity with nature still, even when you're in the midst of an urban jungle. And so how do you get in touch with nature in a city? It's by having this relationship with the sky. There's always this struggle between space and density. And if you look around San Juan, there's this prevalence of townhouse developments. And so you end up with blank walls all through the streets. I really felt what was very important was how do we break this? You know, how do we make people turn away from fencing off their homes? And how do we kind of like make an organic place like Little Baguio grow more and more? first thing that we really wanted was to be able to create a space that was big enough for our lifestyle. And so that's really, you know, those are the core components that why we felt like we had to come up with a different typology that could fit these desires that we had for our home. We're trying to stack different townhomes together. If you imagine each stack is one residence, and when you put them up together, you actually come up with this very small neighborhood with 12 units only. And so there's an increased sense of privacy. Um, there's better security, there's better amenities, you have a better location. And so everything seems to point towards this direction, that this is how we can create a sustainable lifestyle in our city, how we can create space where we can actually enjoy living in and yet having a smaller footprint. When you first arrive in this building, you see on the ground level is you have a wooden deck. And so that immediately creates a contrast between this building and the surrounding neighborhood. When you enter the space, basically what you do is you go to the elevator and you end up in your own unit. One of the more distinctive features about the flat is how we made sure to celebrate the spaces that are typically neglected or left over in a home. As you alight from the lift, you walk into the foyer that immediately embraces you and welcomes you into the home. We have really made sure to make the key spaces adaptable and flexible. In this pursuit, we carefully selected materials with a patina of authenticity. There is a richness of texture in natural materials. Light permeates the entire unit. Everywhere in the city you can basically view from the unit. It's not something that's grounded, but rather something that uplifts. Everything points out towards making it lighter. It feels like a natural uh, progression from one space to the other. So once you enter, you can actually just free-flowingly move around the space. You actually can walk through the balcony and go out or enter through the master's bedroom. There has to be a middle ground between you know, ultra-high density apartment buildings and residential villas. And we feel like this is that middle point. Still have you know, a home that you would enjoy coming home to. The hope is that the more this spreads out, this becomes a viable typology. It can lead to a milder urban scape, that the idea that the city can still be built up and yet still be something that is more neighborly. So that's the hope that we want, that we can actually build something you know, that grows from this singular gesture and try to permeate how our city is growing.